as I was saying before we were so rudely interrupted, tonight a special award for a special person, Martha Mitchell. Say, didn't she write Gone with the Wind? No, that was Margaret Mitchell. Oh. This is the wife of Attorney General John Mitchell, and she's much better known for what she says than for what she writes. Oh, that Martha Mitchell. Right. Well, what'd she do? <laughs> Now, Dan? Now, Dick. Ah. According to articles in the New York Times and the Los Angeles Times, Mrs. Mitchell recently called United Press International to blast the nation's educators. Mm. She said that they were responsible for all of our troubles in this country. Hey, she ought to tell that to President Nixon. Why is that? Well, he's been under the false impression that pollution, poverty, and North Vietnam have been, you know, they have something to do with our politics. Oh, no, Mrs. Mitchell was further quoted as calling the academic society a bunch of sidewalk diplomats that don't know the score. And she said, uh, they're at fault for a whole generation of children. Hmm, well, maybe they don't know the score, but if they're responsible for a whole generation of children, some of them must have known something. Yes, uh, Mrs. Mitchell goes on. She certainly does. Yes, speaking of professors, she says, uh, they don't know what's going on. They don't have any right to talk. Well, now that sounds like she figures when it comes to free speech, there's only enough to go around for her. Maybe so. Huh, see, isn't it unusual for an attorney general to let his wife talk like that? Oh, well, uh, he didn't know about it. She made the call to UPI from some place where uh, he couldn't hear her, you see. Very clever. Where? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, she made the call from, um, well... She made those remarks from the bathroom? Uh, <clears throat> yes. yes, yes. <laughs> well, somehow that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Never mind that now. It's time for the award. Here you are, Mrs. Mitchell, in return for all those lovely thoughts. The golden goodie is winging its way to your private phone booth. And just remember, it is not only an award because the functional fickle finger can also be used for dialing. 